All right, let's bamp out of here. Not a bad level up. All right, additional castings of the um, deal damage on dead spell. Okay. Now here's the big one. Can I change my class? Samurai yet. Wisdom's not quite high enough. Need to go like level one more time. I think I'll have enough XP, and my wisdom will be enough for me to to learn to, to change class to samurai. All right, uh, about mastering AAs. All right. Just did... Ooh, just a shot. Nice, it's a new one. Uh, the phone aid actually of comrade can combine with another assisted AA. Okay. Yes, please. All right. Poke my head in the bar. From the Rui here. You're from Rui, you helped her out, huh? Sorry to cause you all this trouble. And I can finally make this sword I promised to make. I can't sleep without a sword, but the sword you want me to make it takes well over twice as much baked silver to make. It's hard to find baked silver in this day and age. To tell you the truth, I'd almost given up. Here, she held out a sword with a foreign sword and a red sheath. Not much, but I want you to have this. I think you'll like each other. Swords like women. If you don't match, things don't go too well. Plus, I'm done, plus don't you know you'll, you'll live long to have a good sword by your side? A good sword that you feel eternity. Why I like swords. This is the fighter from 8 bit theater. You go Craftsman's Katana. I can't equip that yet! Darn it, if my wisdom went up by one higher, I could have changed class to Samurai and equipped it. Alright. Alright. That's okay. Let's go back to stop. Okay. So I need Bokey Cat Sweet Save one Bokey Bird's Claw, one Slime School. All right. Darn, I need to save that claw, but... Is it the... Is it the... I need to save the claw, but on the other hand... I, I actually do need to take... This is a spell that I need to teach Creo. Rio does not have any AoE spell, like, doesn't have any first level AoE spells, aside from sleep.
Ah. Yeah, as I do, let's put that on Sarah. Yeah, this game is like interesting compared to the other wizardry games. Um, it is more narratively evolved than involved than the PS3 one, and the DOS and and uh, wizardry one, two, and three. Um, and it does some interesting stuff in comparison to earlier games. Like, this whole spell crafting, crafting system in Wizardry 1, 2, and 3. I guess I'll, I'll save that to the end, but uh, in Wizardry 1, 2, and 3, you don't craft spells, uh, you just learn them. Um,. And you don't have spell mastery if you're gaining gems and that sort of thing. So it is a very different game. I mean, it's still a dungeon crawler. You're going to create one cell. Uh, it's a very different dungeon crawler than the earlier titles. Um, yeah, I mean, the earlier games also I like, could insta die at any time. Um, Oh, the reason that whole uh, connection thing is coming up is I'm using a Bluetooth adapter for my uh, let me play with a uh, PS4 controller because the PS4 controller is actually a little more comfortable and also when you have a cat on your lap a wired controller has can ha has its difficulties I will say uh, Also, like, the way the whole undead thing works in this game is very... Yeah. Teleport the wall, your whole party dead. Uh, that absolutely happens all... That is, that is one of the banes of your existence in the early Wizardry games. Um, that's why, if I prefer to play it, it's on... Like, I, I have a repro of the Super Nintendo, or Super Famicom, rather, version of Wizardry 1, 2, and 3. Um, I prefer to play that version of that game because that version of that game has auto map and since I'm playing it on a Retron, um, I have save states to avoid that sort of thing. If I were playing in DOS, I'd be using probably using a version of DOS box with save states as well. Um sell this cloak. Actually, I give that cloak to Durgan. Yes, can. And equip that yet, but I will equip that later. Uh, yeah. And... See, the other thing with, um... This game that I do appreciate also is, um... When you level up in this game, your stats just go up. Part of the problem with Wizardry 1, 2, and 3 is you can get a, is you can get a bad level up where you're get like where you get low hit point gain and most of your stats go down. Um the other things with this one is is atmospherically and structurally, I almost actually compare this a fair degree to Demon Souls. Um By which I mean, when you're starting your attack, like... 
So we're always starting from the opening of the dungeon. Um, and part of the way you speed up your progression through the dungeon is through navigation. Or through, through opening up shortcuts. So, for example, um, big part of the thing with this with like this whole area of the dungeon is ah, two boogie gets fur. Okay, I can use almost have everything I need. Craft. Oh yeah, this is this is the other wonderful thing about uh, this compared to original wizardry is. Um, You see your enemies on the map, you have some general information on their state, if they're passive or active. Like, if they're like this, they're passive. If they turn red, they are active, which means you think they're, they're going to rush you, who they're going to chase after you. Um, not so hot for people who are colorblind, but it, 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 it helps. Um... Also, the way traps and locks work instead has changed. Instead of it being a random um, probability of unlocking a trap or a lock, you, the chests are color-coded to tell you whether they're locked or not. So, blue chests like those are... Um, not locked and locked and not trapped. Yellow chests are locked and red chests are trapped. And when you unlock a chest, and when you try to unlock or untrap a chest, you do it by QTE. Which, on the one hand, is not exactly perfect. But it helps. But it's... It is something. I don't know how the time codes or the, the, the amount of time you get and the complexity of the QTE relates to the level of the characters in your party who can disarm the traps. Um, I don't think this is the game that's on Steam. I think the game that's on Steam is um, Wizardry Labyrinth of Lost Souls, which is a little bit more of a conventional wizardry game. Um, okay, so we're not getting the Reaper here, which is fine. Um, that's the one other big difference here between this game and Wizard 3 and the early Wizard games is the Reaper. Where if you are get possessed by the Reaper, or one of your party members, if one of your party members gets possessed by the Reaper, they cannot be resurrected um, if they go down. Uh, um, if they die, they just die. And of course, the big thing this was the whole allied actions thing. That's it. It says a lot about the staying power that Wizardry has had in Japan. That there are just. So many wizardry clones. Which is fine, like I'm a big fan of wizardry. Um
I'm like, this type of dungeon crawler hasn't really stuck around in the U.S. the way that it has in Japan. Luckily, I keep hell open to the pack because I got, I got a magic crossbow. Um, never mind. That was a that was a slip up. That's okay. I think my sorcerer could probably actually attack with the, um... I don't know if the poison dagger attacks against the magic weapon for, uh, combat purposes. Um... Uh, as this game un it mentioned, undead can only be damaged by magic weapons. The crossbow works. And it's a magic crossbow. It's explicitly stated to be magic. Um, my regular weapons don't. I'm gonna be slightly curious. We mentioned about this game, whether it's on Steam. Just a second. Sounds like this is just Wizardry, uh, Labyrinth of Lost Souls. Souls. They do have one through four. Normally before they have, uh, sorry, um, six, seven, and eight, rather. Um. All right. Yeah. I, I've already previously bought 6, 7, and 8. Um, I wouldn't mind if um, Legacy of Legomen, um does. The Legacy of Legomen is the version that is used for the... Um, that, that is the uh, technical term for the collection of 1, 2, and 3. And that's gotten a bunch of big releases in um, Japan, including the Super Famicom version. And it's gotten a pretty heavily improved um, release in uh, on PC in Japan as well. Um, but it hasn't gotten officially localized release in the U.S. yet. I wouldn't mind if like that got translated and put out through something like GOG. But I kind of have to go through GOG as well because I believe it was a Windows 95 release as opposed to DOS or DOSBox, which would make things simpler. The nice thing about this game is a little bit of planning. A 
careful and judicious use of allied actions. You can get through a lot of these encounters really quick. And without getting hit at all either. About the same time to our right. This is one of the uh fight attack. Okay. Friendly undead, sure. All we wanna do is eat. I think I took the long way around here on accident. Oh well, that's fine. Ah, oh, good. Bunch of undead of all the exact same type, so. Guard. Well. Let's see if the poison dagger actually works on these guys. Or not. That works too. I'm glad you picked up the game. I... Probably the reason why I like streaming these older titles and more obscure titles, it's nice to expose them to newer audiences. And clear out my backlog at the same time. got a little too button mashy with uh, some earlier enemies, and so my cleric ended up turning evil, so I'm trying to get her back to, to, to being good. Aha! Uh -huh. Zombies. <laughs> ah, 
worked out pretty well. Also, this game is kind of weird, neat stuff, like one of your starting party members you get is a good aligned ninja, which normally in wizardry is not a thing you can get, but you give your character can disarm traps and can do uh, stick attack damage very early on, which is really helpful. So that's a different quest item. Double slash on you, but you deal more damage. The nice thing with these allied abilities is that there isn't actually is they aren't tied to a resource you have to manage necessarily. They are connected to as we saw into other words tutorial earlier. That is all edited down for a let's play on my uh, that's gonna be on my YouTube channel. Uh, but you have the in the lower right hand uh, left hand corner you have the um, allied action charge which relates to your morale on here. Using allied actions does not lower your morale. In fact, it opens up possibilities for new allied actions. Um, okay. The United Warrior was walking cautiously as he looked around. The warrior smiled bashfully and scratched his head as he noticed you. Ew, it's only you adventurers. Don't scare me like that. I only made it up to here. I don't want to encounter monsters anymore. Be careful if you're going down. The third floor is confusing. It changes every time you enter. Nothing good ever happens there. You'll encounter all these enemies while you got lost. But one thing, you won't feel the presence of the Reaper. Just make sure you get plenty of experience before you challenge the third floor. You departed with the warrior is going back to town. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.